interrupt me if you're from another class. Okay, notes 1-2, we are super late in Algebra 1. Today's date, write it down, is August 29th, top right, August 29th, 8 slash 29. Make sure your name and date are on your paper. Um, quiet raised hand, always assume quiet raised hand for my class unless I say otherwise. Quiet raised hand, who can read the objective for us? Kira. Perfect. And then she gets 50 XP. We got that. Um, anytime that you participate in my class, it's usually XP. All right. Like terms. Like terms are terms that have the same what and the same what. So I'm just going to fill this in for us. Normally, I would let you uh, guess this is the same variable or letter, same variable. And if you don't like the word variable, you can think of it as the same letter and the same exponent. That is the official definition, although all of today's homework and Khan Academy, all that stuff, everything has an exponent of 1. It's going to be like x, y, a. There's no x squared. There's no a squared. It's all going to be just one letter. Um, like terms are like each other. So x is like x. 1 is like 3. They're constants. So simplified. This is our main rule for today. Do not combine variables and numbers. And I guess I should say variables and constants. Constant. So constant, an example of a constant is 2 or 5. If you don't like the word constants, maybe I'll write the other word underneath it, numbers. Don't combine variables and numbers. Obviously, you can have variables, or sorry, constants in front of numbers, constants in front of variables, like 3x. 3x is still considered a variable, while 4 is considered a constant. So this is a variable, and this is a constant. I'm going to be using this word constant over and over for basically the rest of your math career at this high school. So whenever I say constant in your mind, translate that to, he's just talking about a number. All right. So when adding and subtracting, the blank never changes, and this is the power. The power never changes. So for example, if I were to add x plus x, some people would mistakenly say this is x squared. That is incorrect. It is not x squared. This is 2x. Never change the power. Only change the number out front, which is called the, and I'm about to say that, add or subtract the coefficient. Only x times x equals 2x squared. Exactly. So that's when you multiply or divide. That will change the power. But when you add or subtract, you will never, ever change the power. And all we're doing for today is adding and subtracting. Tomorrow, I believe, we're going to multiply and divide. Then we'll start changing the power. Questions up to this point? Questions, questions. We'll digest the math. Um, for XP, what is a coefficient? I wrote it down. Oh, you have a question? Perfect. Go for it. Um, so when you say combine, like don't combine variables and subtracting, what does that mean? So, Combine, that means something like this. So if I have 3x plus 5, some people would say, oh, that equals 8x. They combine them into one term. Oh, right, because you, you can only add if they're both variables. Exactly, yeah. Good question. Um, coefficient, quite raised hand. What is a coefficient? Who can point one out or give a definition? Any form? Only one person knows what a coefficient is. Two people know. Only two people know what a coefficient is. Raise your hand if you've heard of a coefficient. Eamon, what is a coefficient? Um, I'd say I'd say it's the it's 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 the two into x. Perfect. That's all I need. Yeah. Because of, because of how many x's there are. Everyone, write it down. This two is the coefficient. The definition of a coefficient is the number in front of the variable. So Eamon got the fifty xp. Thank you, Asha. So coefficient is the number in front of the variable. Lots of vocab. We're OK using the word coefficient, using the word constant. All right, and then on to example one. I need to simplify this by combining like terms. So I'm going to underline the first things. I'm going to underline the variables 3x and negative 4x. Notice that I'm also underlining the sign or operation in front of it. I'm underlining the negative with the 4x because it's not, I can think of it as minus 4x, but even better, I'm going to think of this as a negative 4x. 
Okay, those are all the x's. So who can tell me what happens when I do 3x plus a negative 4x or 3x minus 4x? What do I get? Only two people know. Three people. Oh, lots of people know. Wyatt. It'll equal negative x or negative 1x. Yeah, so I'm just going to write down negative x. And if you guys prefer, you can say negative 1x. Negative x is a little bit more um, typical in the mathematics community. 50x, Peter Wyatt. That is true. I'm going to circle all the constants. I have a constant of plus 7. I have a constant of negative 2. I need to now combine those. Quite raised hand. Who can do that? Jade. Five. It is indeed 5. So it is a positive 5. So I'm going to say plus 5. And that's my answer. Box it. We have simplified the expression. We have made it smaller, made it easier to use into this negative x plus 5. All right, moving on. We're going to do another example. Example number two. I need someone to tell me what my like terms are. What am I going to underline? Larissa. Negative 4q and negative 2q. Yep, so negative 4q and negative 2q. Perfect. Questions? Are we ready to move on? Oh yeah, so one thing that I'm starting in my classes because it's easy to distinguish. If you want to answer, hand up. If you have a question, do you guys know the sign language for Q? It's like this, you're pinching upside down. That's a Q. So if you have a question, you can practice it right now. Do this, if you have a question. That way I can immediately uh, ask you what your question is. All right, so, do um, you have a question? Uh, so even if I add 50 speed, it doesn't show. But does it show up on mine? It does show up on mine, okay. yeah. Um, and eventually they will level up. All right, any other questions before we move on? All right, and my next like term is going to be what? Um, Emma. Eight and three. And do circle the plus in front of them too, please. Always include the sign. All right, so now I need to combine my like terms. Let's combine the variables. Negative 4q and a negative 2q combined to form what? I'm doing the blue, the blue underline. I always forget your name, I'm sorry. Ulysses. Ulysses, okay, go for it. It is indeed negative 6q. And I'll pause so that Asha can give you the 50 XP. And then combining 8 and 3, that's a nice easy question, Kira. 11. It is indeed 11. That is our final answer, box it. What we just did, for example, 1 and 2, was one homework assignment. We have two homework assignments tonight, so let's Learn the second one. Second one is the same, a little bit harder. It has distribution. Raise your hand if you know how to distribute. So most of us. Um, raise your hand if you know how to distribute this first problem right here so I can call on you for XP. Um, have I called on basically everyone today? We'll start repeating. Eamon. Um, it'll, be, it'll be 2 times negative 3y. Which is? Perfect. And? Plus, plus two times negative, two times seven, which equals 14. Is it a positive or a negative 14? It's a positive. Positive 14. Thank you. 50 XP. I'll let you guys write that down. I really like writing down the little arrows that show you that the two is going into both of those terms. Um, you don't have to do that, of course. I like doing it because it's a visual way of seeing what distribution is happening. Um, you're ready to answer the next one, Charles. Oh man, all ready to go. Who can distribute this one? This one is a little bit tricky. Who can distribute the negative into this problem? Go for it, Charles. It would be a um, negative 2a and a positive 4. And it is a positive 4. Good job. 50 XP to Charles. Make sure everyone understands this. It's really tricky because that negative, sometimes people forget to distribute it. It's the most common error whenever you distribute, so that's why I put it up here. Um, we have two more examples. We have exactly seven minutes left of class. Let's see if we can get through this. So, example number three. I need someone to just distribute. Not simplify, I just need to distribute. Who can distribute? And you have to figure out where that is. Yeah, Esha? Uh, would you distribute? You actually don't. So it's the thing that's so going to be next to the parentheses. Okay, well, so then you distribute 3 into negative 2k. 
you have to be careful here because remember you always circle not just the three but the negative three. Exactly. So I'm going to distribute negative three. Go ahead and do that for us. And then you um, times negative two k to get two negative times a negative is a positive. So it's going to be a positive. Perfect. 6K, everyone write it down. And then I'm also going to distribute the negative 3 with the 4, Esha, which is going to be? Negative 3, uh, um, you got this? 3 times 4? Well, that's 12, so it would be negative 12. It is indeed negative 12. So to give yourself 50 XP. So Esha has distributed the negative 3, but we're forgetting something. What are we forgetting? What? The K. So the K needs to come out here. So this K right here drops down. We still have the K. And because this was a positive 6K, I'm going to write the positive right there. Positive 6K. All right, we're almost done. We distributed. That's the first step. That's order of operations. I deal with the P, the parentheses. Parentheses, um, well, actually, you can't simplify it inside the parentheses. I guess we're down here on multiplication. We did multiplication. Now we're going to go down to add and subtract for PEMDAS. Combine like terms. When I combine like terms, what am I going to get? Last line. Here, I go for it. 7K minus 12, that is our final answer. Box it. 50 XP to Kira. All right. Questions about anything that we've done in this lesson so far before we move on to our final example? All right, we're on to our final example, example number four. It is big, it is ugly, it has two times the distribution of the last one. So I need someone to distribute the first one, someone to distribute the last one. Who can distribute the first one with a quiet raise hand? I still have people that haven't participated yet today, which makes me sad. Ulysses? Would, would it do like negative T, right? Negative T, perfect. And then positive three. Positive three, yeah, 50 XP to Ulysses. I need to distribute the second one. I'll do that in a different color. Who can do that? Jade, go for it. Four, five. Positive four. Yeah, the positive four. Always include the sign into the five, which is? Four times five. Twenty. Is that a positive or a negative twenty? If it's a positive 20, I'm going to put that plus in front of it. Good job. And distribu distributing the second part is going to be? It's up to you, Jade. Eight. Eight. Negative eight. Missing one more part. T, there it is. T. Thank you, Jade. 50 XP to Jade. Everyone copy it down. We're missing something. Quiet raise hand. What are we missing? Prefer to call someone new if possible. No, okay, Larissa? The eight. the eight. Bring it down. That eight, it needs to be brought down. Eight. And we are out of time. Um, really quickly, I'm going to give you the answers that, that we have in our notes. We have uh, negative 90 plus 28. And I know that my T's and pluses can look. Oh, it is 31. Sorry plus 31. There were three things. 8 plus 3 plus 21. I should circle those. 8 plus 3 plus 21. Sorry, plus 20 is 31. Our final answer is negative 90 plus 31. Thank you for catching that. That is a teacher error. I will give you the XP because you guys are on your way out. Homework tonight is on Khan Academy and you need to do your summaries. Two homework assignments. Do your summary for the notes. Khan Academy. You guys are dismissed. Thank you.